No. Looks like our little hero is awake. Well, good morning, Starshine. Oh, did you have a good nap? Hmm? Come on. Speak up now. Oh, having trouble with that gag in your mouth. <laughs> oh, poor little hero. Oh, all tied up and captured by the villain. Hmm. Bet you thought that the power of friendship would pull through. That you would bond with your friends and with the citizens would take me down. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry to say, my cute little hero, but I've been alive for centuries. What made you think that you could honestly take me on in a fight? <laughs> oh, now, no. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. You shouldn't feel bad or ashamed for losing to me. After all, I'm sure those bastards above told you to come pick a fight with me, giving you a blessing to convince you that you now had the power to take me on, of all people. <laughs> how laughable and how cowardly those gods are. Sending a child like yourself to be killed by me. Mm. How cruel they are. Mm. What was that? Still can't hear you, my starshine. Mm. Should I just take that gag off of you? Would you like that? Hmm. Was that a little nod? Okay, since I'm much more reasonable than those scum in the sky. There, now you can talk to your hearts. Hmm. <laughs> now, now, Starshine. No need to spit at me. You shouldn't be pushing your luck since you are at my mercy. Your gods can't help you here. My castle is cut off from any and every holy place you may be thinking about. <laughs> if you are a good girl for me, then I will reward you. <laughs> but only if you are a good girl for me and answer all of my questions. You see, I have quite a few of them, my starshine. Hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Such vulgar words coming from the hero. I wonder. If those bastards heard you, would they still favor you so? As much as I enjoy hearing those vulgar words come from your mouth, they aren't words that would come from a good girl. So, let's try this again, Starshine. Are you going to be good for me? 
or will I have to give you just a little bit of pain to convince you to behave and answer my questions? Oh, more vulgar words. <laughs> Seems like my starshine is turning into such a naughty little girl. That's all right. I don't mind disappointing my cute little starshine. I have all the time in the world after all. Oh, did that hurt? Did that knock the wind from your lungs? <laughs> I'm not done yet, my naughty little girl. I have to really drive the point home, don't I? Oh, how your screams of pain make me shiver, Starshine. <sighs> Don't get me all wound up now. I know it hurts. <laughs> it was supposed to. That was the point, darling. You also won't be walking without some help. Maybe after I'm done questioning you, I can help stitch up this little wound on your thigh. Maybe even lick it. <laughs> hmm. Getting a taste of the hero's blood. How exciting. Now, will you be a good girl for me? Will you be obedient and answer my questions? Hmm, was that a cute little nod I saw? <laughs> Come on, Starshine, you can do better than that. Give me a proper response. <laughs> oh, so cute. You're making me fall for you more, Starshine. Your cute little broken voice, as you agree. Oh, makes me want to tease you even more. Hmm. But I have to wait and hold back. <laughs> I can't indulge in you just yet. So, Starshine, I want to know exactly what those bastards, your gods, said to you about me and don't leave out any juicy detail don't sugarcoat anything either hmm <laughs> oh really hmm <laughs> I knew that they were talking shit behind my back, but to take it so far? <laughs> Calling me so evil. Saying how I would destroy the world? <laughs> oh, that's so funny, my cute little girl. Oh, do you want to know something, my darling sunshine? <laughs> You see, I was once just like you. I was called a hero. I was called upon by the gods to get rid of the evil villain of the time. And my long lost friends and I marched up to this very castle. And you want to know what was funny? All of my friends died in vain, leaving me all alone to face that evil villain of old time past. 
<laughs> and I was successful. Since I was already extremely powerful. But as the villain lay dying, he gave me a blessing. It allowed me to see the world for what it truly was. The gift of being able to tell truth from lies. I could tell when somebody was lying to me. And with their last dying breath, they told me to watch my back. Hmm. Of course, I just wrote off their words. But that villain was right. Hmm. When I got back, I was hailed a hero. But I could see just how many people were lying to me. Hmm. And the people around me started to fear me. Since I was powerful enough to kill that old villain all alone. And you want to know what I found out? Those bastards of gods gave the king a revelation. Saying that I was corrupted by the villain. And that I too needed to be eliminated. Before I became fully corrupt. Hmm. But the thing was, I just wanted to retire with the money that being a hero gave me on a nice little farm in the middle of the countryside. Hmm. But do you want to know what the king of that time did? He sent his little army of men to the village I just retired in. And they burned it all down. Everybody in the village died. And I was captured to be publicly executed. <laughs> of course, I didn't fight back. I thought, surely, the king made a mistake. Those gods would never betray me. How shocked I was when I was strung up on a stake with firewood placed beneath my feet. And when I heard the king tell everybody how I was guilty, oh, I've never seen uglier words. All of them were lies. He was lying to his people. How I burned down the little village I retired to. And how I was corrupted by the previous villain. <laughs> At that point, I just broke free. Can you guess where I fled to? Uh -huh. That's right. My cute, smart little girl. I fled here to this dark and desolated castle. Because everybody was still too afraid to get near it. And you want to know what I did next? <laughs> I found the half-rotted corpse. Of the villain who gave me my gift. And I held his body as I sobbed. Apologizing over and over and over and over again. Asking for his forgiveness and guidance. So, I've been here ever since. <laughs> Learning about the people and creatures the previous lord protected. And how to harness the power he used to wield. Then, then, you want to know what happened next? Hmm. No guesses. All silent, my cute hero. <laughs> well, I guess I can just tell you. A small party of people came to this castle. You want to know what they called me? 
They called me a villain. They called me a demon lord. <laughs> they were calling me evil. I hadn't even raised a hand against those who betrayed me. They swore I was evil. They didn't even seem to realize I was once hailed as a hero. <laughs> hmm. Aw, come now, Starshine. What could I possibly gain from lying to you now? It's not like I will be letting you go. I will be keeping you here with me to entertain you. So you can see just how truly corrupt those bastards are. Just how quickly they will abandon you. Just a pawn in their eyes. Just how I was a pawn in their eyes. <laughs> Don't worry though, my cute little hero. I won't hurt you as long as you are a good little girl. Hmm. Hmm. But I guess I should fit you with some sort of collar to show everybody that you are mine. To make sure nobody else touches you. Hmm. Hmm. My cute little starshine. Why are the tears? Hmm. Oh, come now. I know, I know. Hey, it's a lot to take in. Don't worry. I will give you some time to rest and take everything in. I will make sure that you are well taken care of. And as long as you are good, you won't be harmed in any way. Ha, 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 ha.